But guys, I know it looks a little bit crazy with all of the red lines going everywhere, but trust me, there is a method to the madness. There is a reason for this. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. This is a blue archive video. Today, I wanted to go through a couple of the upcoming events and just talk about them, talk about what the farm priorities are, talk about some of the different nuances, like, oh, you gotta clear this so that you can farm out and max out Fubuki, for example, in one of the upcoming Valentine events, etc., etc. Because I unfortunately did not get a chance to go through the operation record and the onsen event and so i was like man better think ahead for the boys all right so that is where we are today and so today is one of the last days for the hot springs event i wanted to move forward and talk more about the new year's rhapsody number 68 as well as the upcoming event in maybe this one over here yep kosaka wakamo's happy valentine patrol silence and feast this is going to be a fantastic event trust me and so let's start things off with the new year's event over here so in the jp version they translated it as handyman 68's new year rhapsody but essentially it is going to be enlarged very much like your other events, which all of them are. Let's talk about the nuances, the parts that we should focus on, because as you can see over here with this tiny ass icon, you can farm for Arus. And so let me just give you guys a quick rundown of Aru. Aru is a sniper unit. She essentially with her EX skill, she does a bomb, attaches it onto one enemy, and then it blows up, dealing damage to a radius around them. So as you can see, uh, it's this one right here. I'm pretty sure most of us have encountered Aru in our day to day with Blue Archive, she was one of the launch units. And in terms of her viability, she is used in the Hiero raid, she is used in the Chitin raid, and she's also used in the Insane variant as well. I think Insane uh, Chitin. However, generally speaking, her viability in the Insane raid is very much dependent on her shards, on her 5 star, on her UE. You do want the UE 40. And so, hopefully, that justifies us trying to just bombard the stage with all of our stamina so that we can grab all of these shards. And so the way we do that is that we use these fortune slips to go pull on the fortune draw. And in the fortune draw, we are able to get the Aru shards. As you can see over here, we have the fortune draw and then we have the Arus. 10 shards at 1%, etc, etc, etc. We've got another 10 at 5%, 3 at 20%. You know, the expected shards, it's going to be about 3 per draw. And so this is where we are going to be farming for these Aru shards. I would be dumping all of my stamina to get those, uh, those currencies, the fortune slips. And this will be available in quest 12. Well, so personally, I'm going to be dumping the majority of my stamina into this guy over here. However, as always, you need to prioritize the shop as well. I mean, for me, like the Aru shards are top priority, but you still do need to see this one over here in which you can see there are these Gehenna books. Oh my God, the Gehenna books are so freaking priceless. So for me personally, I'd be smashing all of these out. I would smash all of the EXP books. I would take all of the Gehenna books. I would take the Void niches. I think these are Void niches. And then we got furnitures over here. On the other hand, we have the wooden plaque in which we have Gehenna books again, as well as the totems. Now the totems are really important. I will tell you why a bit later, but we also have these ones. Now, if it was me, I would skip these. And I would recommend that to you as well if you have a surplus of these. And so on top of this exchange shop, we actually have a box gacha in which we could be farming these Mutsuki shards. Now, that is honestly fantastic because Mutsuki is a top tier red DPS if you know how to use her. Definitely, definitely, definitely would be smashing these. I probably wouldn't go too hard on this one over here, but I'm pretty sure if you're smashing quest 12 anyway for the Aru shards, you're going to be getting a whole bunch of these. So yeah, the main nuance, the main critical thing about this New Year's stage, this New Year's event, is that we need to spam quest 12 to be able to get all of those Aru shards to hopefully, hopefully get her to UE. 40. And so shortly after this New Year stage, we are going to move on New Year's here and then we're going to get the Valentine event with Wakamo. So this one right over here. Now this one is going to be quite interesting because it features a welfare unit, Fubuki, who sees an insane amount of use, which means, yes, we are going to be farming the heck out of her. And so before we go into the farming for Fubuki, let me explain to you why Fubuki is so sought after. So there's a, there's a beautiful face. You can see she starts off as a one star, same as everybody. She goes up to five but the nice thing is, is that she is a Valkyrie affiliation. What this means is that she is going to be super, super easy to juice up her skills. And her skill one, uh, this guy over here, is the most important because you see inflict stun. I don't know if you guys like watch any of my other videos, but stun, this is the time about where HOD Hod is going to be released, the new boss. He gets wrecked by stuns. She has a free stun because it is on her normal skill. She's just going to go like, 
and then the boss is going to get Giga Stunned, and then on the passive skill, she is going to be getting CC Power, and for the EX and sub, it is going to be getting Attack. So that's going to make her like a formidable attacker, but her true, true utility, the reason why she's so freaking good is because she has this crazy, crazy stun that is essentially on her auto attack. So what that means is that her attack speed is going to affect the amount of procs, the amount of stuns you get on the HOD. And so my guys, it is in our best interest to actually juice up this sneaky looking girl. And the way we do that is actually twofold. So every day, depending on the amount of stamina that we sink, this one over here, Wakamo's Warrant Ticket. So we need one of these tickets to go in and enter and essentially clear the stage to farm these Fubuki shards. Each day, we are able to trigger this one eight times. So you need to spend up to 1k AP for it. I think that's like pretty easy, but if you're having trouble with that, just save your stamina now from the PVP shop. And so refresh it when we get to this one over here. That being said though, we could actually theoretically dump that PVP stamina into this Aru event to get more of these Aru shots. But really it's up to you and like how much of the LFs you do want to spend. But yeah, back to this one over here. We have eight entries of this one. I'm gonna scroll back up. What that means is that we're gonna get eight times these shards every day as well as all of these rewards if you can clear it. Now, don't be worried if you can only clear like one of the easier stages because you still get one of these shards every time you run it. And so that is the first way that we are gonna be farming for the Fubuki shards. Now, that's gonna be like eight per day. That doesn't really sound like that much. And that is why there is a juicer down here. This, my guys, is the juicer. Look at all of these materials. But if I scroll down with this garbage bag material, if I scroll down, you can see that there are Fubuki shards over here. Unlimited Fubuki shards. So we're gonna farm the heck out of the garbage bags, which is freaking hilarious. Uh, let's see which stage that is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 11. And so as you can see right here at quest 11, we're gonna be looking for the garbage bags and we're gonna be farming the heck out of that Fubuki, maybe getting a UE level or two with it. And so my guys, that's kind of the nuances for both the Valentine event as well as the New Year's event. And the last thing I do want to talk about is this mess over here. And what this mess represents is essentially the characters that you'll be pulling for as well as the materials that you will require to be able to essentially juice them out fully. So all I've done here is map out the events and correspond them to each of the materials. So as you can see, Wakamo, which hopefully everybody is going to be getting, is going to use the lantern. And that lantern is going to be available in the, the Valentine event. On the other hand, we've got the Fubuki over here. She is going to be using the Voyniches as well as the Pop Juices. I'm pretty sure it's a Mandrake. And that is going to be farmed in the event that is currently going on right now that only has one day left. And so my guys, what that means is that if there are a couple of these materials that are not getting farming stages, such as uh, this stack of cash here, these gears, I think, these um, sus looking things, you need to remember to save them for the respective characters, like the sus ones, Wakamore, and uh, the cash for the Aru. Honestly, the majority of us are probably gonna be looking at like old Nautica. And so you can see we've got the lenses that's gonna be farmed in the Wakamore event. We're gonna be looking at New Year's Mutsuki, in which we are going to be getting a lot of Voyniches from the next event and the event after. So no problems there. And then in the Valentine event, it's going to be Wakamo, Fubuki, and Chihiro, depending on if you are willing to roll for her or not. So I think the conclusion from all of this mess is that you need to be stockpiling these ones over here, the cash for Aru, the gears for Chihiro and New Year's Mutsuki, and these Mandrakes as well as the sussy ones for Wakamo and Fubuki. However, that my guys is going to bring us to the end of the video. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything Thing. And so let's get on with the secret question. I want to know how many of these PVP coins over here you have because these things are seriously a freaking godsend. It's going to get us more of those Aru shots. It's going to get us more of the Fubuki shots. It's just going to get us so many materials. And so my guys, as you can see, I am pretty down bad, down to 417. However, this question is not about me. It's about you guys. So let me know down in the comments. And if you do end up leaving one, thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video or found it kind of helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel or hitting that notification bell. However, as Sora once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.